As I wrap up the last email, I always feel accomplished and productive after a busy day. But long busy days can also be stressful. Even when I pack up my bags and leave the office, I often still think about work. I know, I'm trying to be better at having a healthy balance between work and life. I completed the day's task and priorities, and I need to leave what is left for tomorrow. When I get home, I must make an effort with different ways to relax after work. I like to open all the windows in my home to allow the fresh, cool evening air in. Something about the act of opening windows just feels cathartic, and this instantly puts me into a better mood. It may not be much to spend a few minutes to tidy up, but clearing some clutter helps me feel at ease. Folding the blanket and putting things back into its place gives me something mindless to do in order to slow down. Does anyone else get excited about clean dishes? I know I do. I became a plant mom this past year, and taking care of something living has helped me learn to take better care of myself. I would notice a new leaf or a new flower bud, and when I neglect a plant for too long, it will tell me. The amount of attention that I give to it is also a reminder of the self-care that I need. Our balcony garden may be small, but it brings us so much joy to be out here. An evening walk is my favorite way to de-stress. It is nice to be outside to enjoy the weather after staying all day indoors. This is quality time for us to share about our day and anything else that is on our mind. Comfortable silence is when you don't have to fill them with words. We savor these quiet moments and take in the scenery. After dinner, I take a shower and change into comfortable clothes. I like to wind down the night with a warm cup of tea. I absolutely love trying new teas. If you have any recommendations, I'd love to know in the comments below. It is okay to do nothing for the rest of the night. Light a candle and enjoy a warm cup of tea.
Some nights I would dedicate time to myself for a quiet activity. This can be anything. For me, it is reading a book, responding to text messages, or journaling. Journaling is a way for me to write down any thoughts in my head, and it helps me to process them. Although not all of my nights are like this, these are some ways to help me de-stress and relax. It is important to be kind to myself. I let go of any expectations, what happened or didn't happen, and know that tomorrow is a new day.